Hi everybody! Okay, so happy Friday! It's a Friday and it's the beginning of November, so this will be in my October favorites! Anyways, um, yeah, so if you want to find out what I've been loving for the month of October, then just keep on watching. I feel like my hair is a little poofy. What do you guys think? Honest opinions. Does it look a little poofy? Because I'm using something new and I'm not too sure about it. Well, I just used it today, so very, very first impression. It's this cool way straightener. I heard a lot of good things about this um, so far, but I don't know. I have I have really coarse, thick, kind of frizzy, curly hair, so I was very skeptical about using a low heat flat iron, and I used it today. I don't know. You guys, let me know how it looks. Um, it's a really cool concept because it automatically senses the moisture in your hair and adjusts the cool temperature. It's all under 300 degrees and it's supposed to maintain your hairstyle longer and all this really fabulous stuff, but I don't know. I'm going to check back with you guys once I use it more, but I just need to know your opinion. I feel like it's a little poofy. I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, I don't know about this. Alright, now that I've rambled, let's talk about some favorites. Alright, so first thing, my foundation. I went back to my Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour full coverage foundation. It has SPF 15 in it. I am in the color light. It's the perfect kind of winter um, shade for me. I just bronze up a little bit with some bronzer so I don't look so pale. But I went back to this because I really like the coverage. I really like the lasting um, power. This to me is very similar to like the Revlon Color Stay Whipped, which you guys know is like my holy grail. But I recently, I'm in the transition of going cruelty free, so I'm no longer going to purchase makeup that is tested on animals. It's a process, it's a long one. I will, I will do a complete video on it here soon, but so I've just done. Um, I decided to go with a different foundation that is natural and doesn't test on bunnies. I don't think I have a full review on this, but so if you guys want a full review video and demo, totally let me know in the comments and I will do that for you guys. Okay, another favorite also from Tarte, and this is the Exposed Blush. There is a lot of hype all over YouTube about this blush because it's a really nice blush. It's a really natural I want to call it like a mauve natural pink. Um, it's really great, especially for the fall time that's there on the middle finger. Um, it's just a really nice blush. It's long lasting. They do last a really long time. But this is just so easy to wear. It's so natural and so pretty. And I really love it. This is my only one of their uh, Amazonian clay blushes. I really want to get more. So if you have tried some, what are your favorites? Tell me below. I'm asking a lot of questions of you guys. I'm making you go to work for this video. Okay. Next favorite. Another blush. I have it on right now. And now you guys might be thinking, a bright pink for fall. I love bright pinks for fall and winter because it just reminds me, like, when you're outside in the cold and the wind and you come inside and your cheeks are nice and flushed. I love that. So this is Lorax Flaunt. I know I've talked about this before. But it's stinking amazing, guys. I love it. Like I said, I have it on right now. It's just a beautiful, bright raspberry pink. I love it, love it, love it. Especially for the fall and the winter, like I said, because it just gives you that, like, that flushed cheek like you just came in from the cold and you're about to drink some hot cocoa. Mm. <laughs> so, love that. That was a funny heart. Love that. <laughs> okay. Next favorite... Yeah, it is, um, I'm running out of stuff. So on my cruelty-free journey, have to find new mascara. <laughs> but I've had this in my stash. I liked it before. I'm pretty sure I featured it as a favorite before. I'm pretty sure. But I picked this up for my $20 makeup challenge, and then I was pleasantly surprised at how awesome it is. It's $2.99 at the drugstore. You can't, you can't beat that price. This is the Jordania Best Lash Extreme volumizing mascara. It's amazing. I have it on today. If you're interested in my makeup, I did record a tutorial and that should be up Monday. Yeah! So, it's just a really good, nice volumizing mascara. It reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal Voluminous, the wand, but it's just a really great 
nice basic wand and then it just coats your eyelashes and creates lots of drama and volume. It's love and $2.99, right? You can't go wrong. That's stinking amazing. Okay, last favorite. This is one of my newest things and I'm so excited. I love it so much. So you might have heard of Dern. I hope I'm saying that right. D-E-R-N-G. She has her own online store. I've seen a lot of her stuff on Sarah Bell 93X. Hi, Sarah. Um, but she has really cute sideways cross bracelets that I want to get next and so many cute jewelry designs. And she just came out with a bubble necklace and I like hopped on that bandwagon and totally picked this up because it's amazing. It's an ombre bubble necklace and it's gray and goes down to black, it's ombre. I picked the gray color because I thought this would just go so well with so many of my outfits because I typically wear white and black the most, you know, because I'm exciting. Um, <laughs> but this is just, it's so pretty. I love it so, 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 so much. And it's a lot less expensive. It's more affordable than like the, the J. Crew bubble necklaces. Come on though, like $125 for a necklace? That's ridiculous. But these are like, 25 maybe I think I paid 27 with shipping so I don't know somewhere around there but really pretty really nice quality I am definitely going to be picking up some more maybe like some fun colors as well so I've been loving that all right so that's all for my favorites I actually don't have a fail and I don't want to quite say that that cool way flat iron is a fail yet because it's still very new to me and like I said, it'll come back once I've tested it out some more and let you know about that. So I guess that's my only fail. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful, entertaining, did something for you. I don't know. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hurt you guys all. Bye, everybody.